The overall theme that we're developing um, across our marketing through 2009 uh, is the idea of um, Virgin Media bringing powerful stuff to the consumers. So we've got powerful products in terms of our broadband, TV and mobile products and we've got some really powerful stuff, um, whether it be our wireless broadband, whether it be our mobile phones or our set-top boxes that can really deliver powerful, interesting, exciting entertainment products and services. What's powerful stuff about? I mean, it always sounds a bit odd when we talk about strategy and it always sounds a bit overthought and overconsidered. But at its heart, we know that Virgin is all about looking after its customers, looking after consumers. It's about giving them more. So what this campaign about is about, it's about the fact that Virgin Media give people more entertainment, they give them more connections, they give them more control, which is a pretty cool thing to be able to say to people and to offer people. When you bring all that stuff together, you bring everything that we do, Virgin Media does, and does brilliantly, it's powerful stuff. It's the kind of welcoming of a, of a force that our guy is just really, he's, he's more than happy to sort of let it in the house. He's not scared of this like dramatic sort of energy. And almost when he hears it sort of, you know, coming, coming along and rumbling through, he wants to sort of, you know, let it in and, you know, drink it all in. It's been a lot of hard work, um, but it's kind of been a very interesting journey. We're using Ringan, who is a fantastic, like the top kind of London director, which is really exciting because we always really wanted to work with him and he wanted to do this job, so kind of we were really, really pleased. Um, there's been a lot of um, discussion around the spots, um, developing ideas and just seeing the progression of how things have planned out and now we're here. It's just brilliant and we can kind of see that it's going to look amazing and fabulous. Stuff we did yesterday was guys shaking the walls and the trees on the other side, stuff falling down. You can see some remnants of our work yesterday. On the other side over here, you'll see this clock that's got a motor on it. These shelves are on rods, so they'll shake back and forth this way. Stuff falls off the shelves there. Oh, these shelves have a lot of action. This shelf's got a hinge on it. It breaks, it falls down. At some point today, you'll probably see a bunch of uh, paper come flying out of, out of this rig, this printer rig. Most of the build-up has been achieved in yeah, real-life effects. So the VFX guys here, they've done uh, yeah, they've done a fantastic job of uh, you know getting a lot in camera. But um, as uh, the piece grows, the the energy builds up, and it comes to a point where the set is just literally being ripped apart, and and this big ball of energy comes towards the hero character. That's the bit where we come in, and we're going to be achieving that with. Uh, CGI and uh, compositing in flames, so using different elements that we'll shoot um, on, on here and using uh, CGI elements, the flame artist will composite all that stuff together and then camera shake, lens flares to sort of really build the piece up. I'm happy about it, ultimately, because I'm smiling, but I'm going to have to replace a lot of things. Uh, some of my china that was left to me by my grandparents shattered in there. But uh, I'm really totally stoked about this broadband, so I'm kind of cool with it, you know? I think they'll enjoy the 30 seconds, 60 seconds. I think it's, it's, um, it's not selling too hard. It's not trying really hard. It's, first and foremost, a visual, it's a piece of entertainment. You know the hairs on your arms prickling up? That sort of thing, a little bit of um, goose bumpage. When people see the finished ad, I think what we're hoping is they're going to think, wow, Virgin Media is a cool, it's a sexy brand, I want one of those.
Right now, right in my living room. <laughs>